Thank you for joining my solo adventure. Today, I'm going to Malacca by bus from Larkin Station, JB Johor Bahru, Malaysia. There are buses from Singapore to Malacca too, or you can drive. I like traveling by bus so I can enjoy the view and relax. And normally it's cheaper, but it may take much longer, so it's really personal preference. In this video, I will share with you my journey from JB to Malacca and back. Bus review both ways, I purposely take bus from different company on my way back. And also, I will share with you review on budget hotel, hostel, and Airbnb or homestay. By the way, in all my videos, I'm sharing with you my solo travel and my personal opinion and preference. It is not endorsed or paid marketing. No one pay me and I did not pay them for taking the videos. Of course, I asked for permission before I make the videos and I paid for my food and accommodation as per normal holiday and travel. Okay, I will share more on places I visit and yummy food I tried on my next week's video. Malacca is a beautiful town. It was declared as UNESCO World Heritage Site on 2008. I really enjoyed my stay and I wish I can stay longer. I feel well rested, recharged, relaxed and happy. And at the same time, I get to learn and experience new adventure. And of course, Malacca delicious food. I visited several famous places to eat and I found my personal favorite for seafood. Places that I personally think worth traveling for and must visit. Fresh seafood, perfectly cooked, reasonable price, and great ambience. I will share more about the place and food with you on my other video, Malacca Tree, Awesome Seafood. And of course, traveling to Malacca, it is not complete if we do not visit their night market and try on their delicious, yummy, and fun street food and shop for cute, unique souvenir. Coming soon, Malacca for amazing night market and street food. So okay, now Malacca 1, bus to and from Malacca and where to stay. I'm traveling from JB, so I took Grab to Larkin Central, JB bus terminal. It has many direct bus services to and from different cities in Malaysia, Singapore and Hat Yai, Thailand. I'm traveling on weekdays, off peak season and I have done my research. There are many buses to Malacca on the day I'm traveling, so I decided to buy my ticket from the terminal. If you are traveling on weekend or public holiday, please buy your bus ticket in advance. The last thing I want during my holiday is stranded somewhere with my big luggage and with no bus and no hotel. <laughs> Once I arrived and entered Larkin Central, I walked around looking for ticket counter. I walked all the way in and I actually need to take escalator down. Then I found ticket counter, departure gate, and e-ticket counter. Normally, I prefer to talk and buy my ticket from human. <laughs> but I also like to buy tickets from e-counter when I'm not sure which bus to take and what time and to compare price. It's actually pretty easy. I just need to follow the instruction and follow the step. I chose KKKL bus from JB to Malacca and City Express from Malacca back to JB. As my bus will depart for another hour, so I have time to walk around to buy snack and most importantly, to go to toilet. <laughs> it is not a very long journey and most likely the driver will stop for short break in between, but just in case. Larkin Central is huge. There are so many shops where you can buy food and snacks and drinks. By the way, no smoking and no food allowed in the bus. So, after my walk-walk, I went to the departure gate and relaxed in a very comfortable waiting room. It's clean, non-smoking, and with good air condition and with TV showing buses schedule. Around 5 to 10 minutes before departure time, my bus arrived at the platform. I just need to double check with the information printed on the ticket and ask the driver, I actually show him the ticket to make sure it's the right bus before I huff and puff and put my huge luggage into the bus storage area. Next, I find my seat and relax and chill. <laughs> I like it. It's clean, seat was comfortable and good size. No smell. Overall, a very comfortable ride. 
So from Larkin Terminal to Malacca Central, it will take around 3 hours by car, but it really depends on traffic. During my travel from JB to Malacca by bus, it only took 2.5 hours. But on my way back from Malacca to JB, it took more than 3 hours. Once we reach Malacca Central, I look for e-ticket counter to buy my return ticket <laughs> to JB. It's the same system, very easy and convenient. I just have to make sure that I don't lose the ticket. <laughs> Next, I search for exit and get grab car to my hotel. Okay, hotel tour. I choose budget hotel as I think I do not need to show you how awesome a 5-star hotel with 800 to 1000 plus ringgit price tag per night look like. <laughs> and also because I do not like to spend too much on accommodation but I still want need <laughs> my human comfort like clean bed sheet and comfortable mattress and pillow. Those are very important, right? <laughs> and also clean reasonable size room, bathroom and working shower with hot water and no strange or bad smell and yep. <laughs> okay, I choose Hallmark Leisure Hotel. It's a two-star hotel, decent rating for the price. Staff was very friendly and nice and helpful. Good location, walking distance to city area. The room was okay. I don't like the shower. So, Overall, for the price, okay for short 1-2 to two night stay. Next, hostel tour. Sleepy Hostel is within walking distance for most place of interest. I walk from Jonker Street and reach the hostel in no time. I found many interesting shops and huge car park and eateries. Actually, I found one of my favorite seafood place very near to this hostel. I will share more about it in my Malacca 3 awesome seafood video. I did not stay here because I'm traveling with my huge luggage and I need my personal space to work. But I will definitely stay at Sleep Here Hostel next time if I travel to Malacca for holiday and food. You can get more information and price about them from Google or their website, Instagram and Facebook. As I did not stay here, I asked one of their guests, a very nice lady, agree to share her experience with me. I'm Judith from Germany and I am the first time here in Maraca and I chose the, this hostel particularly because it's located really close to the center. You can walk everywhere. It's uh, really nice and clean. I'm staying here for three nights and I'm a solo traveler here. So for me, it's also important to have my private space. And in this hostel, it's absolutely not, not a problem. We have curtains on, I'm staying in a ladies dorm and every bed has a curtain. So I think for me personally, that's always important to have your own space and your privacy, even though you are in a hostel um, with other people. 
to still allow for that minimal of privacy um, to be ensured. It's really clean. We have air conditions in all the rooms. There's always enough showers and toilets for everyone. There has like never been the situation where you would have to wait or it's not been clean. Um, so I really enjoy this uh, hostel very much. I've been in very, very many hostels across the world. It's my eighth country and I would definitely rate it under the top five of all the ones that I've seen so far. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, I've just noticed yesterday that there's a really nice pathway right here opposite uh, where the river is. It's a beautiful way to walk along the, the riverside and at night that is beautiful and it's safe. And even if you do not walk the riverside, even if you take the, um, the road, it's safe. And I did not feel unsafe anywhere here. Okay, I love uh, travel backpacks, so everything I prepare here is actually what I want when I travel. So I give a premium uh, bedding. It's hotel rated mattress and also the comforter and also the pillow here. So I hope our guests will enjoy staying here. I really like Sleep Here Hostel. I stayed at many hostels when I travel around Europe and Canada and this place reminded me to awesome good quality hostel at good location with good price. Personally, I think Sleep Here Hostel is better than some 2-3 to three star hotel. Okay next, finally Airbnb or homestay. I stayed at Atlantis Resident Malacca, a very nice place. I paid around 150 ringgit per night. Do note, price varies on weekend and holiday. Sometimes it's cheaper than 3 to 4 star hotel, especially if you travel with friends and you can share the cost and someone can sleep on the extra bed or sofa. <laughs> but please do your research and read lots of reviews as homestay is not a hotel or hostel. Normally you can only check in and out at certain time and you cannot leave your luggage with them. Sometimes you will enter to a place that is very different from photos and expectation. So yes, please do lots of research before you book. But of course, sometimes you may find some awesome place with reasonable price like this. It's clean, comfortable and with functioning kitchen. So I can do light cooking for simple food and lots of vegetable that I really need after all the delicious food marathon. <laughs> and a balcony with beautiful view. Perfect for me as I wanted to have my silence and solitude just to rest and be still. So that's it, my eat, walk, walk and eat again, Solar Adventure Malacca, Malaysia. Thank you so much for watching, join me again next time for more yummy food and interesting places. Please remember to like, share and subscribe. Thank you so much and have an awesome week ahead. Thank you, bye bye.